Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is a free hypnosis session just for you. Please remember to only ever watch or listen to my free hypnosis sessions when you can safely close your eyes. So this session is going to be aimed at transforming well, actually not not even transforming because most of the hypnosis sessions I do are aimed at transforming a feeling to a different feeling or you know changing one thing to another that's kind of why people quite often go to a hypnotist because they want to stop doing something or they want to change whatever they are doing to something else a behavior or a reaction this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to ask you to search for something. So I'm not going to ask you to change anything. So I'm going to think, ask you to think, and this can be used for anything really, but I'm going to focus today on something that you're angry about yeah angry that's going to be the word anger okay something that's happened lately that you're angry about and you think about it and the anger is quite high maybe between a four and a six a zero being not bothered at all about it ten being the worst anger you could ever have so maybe in the middle between a four and a six so nothing too high nothing too low but something that's maybe happened lately and you think about it and it still gets you. It's still, you know, you still feel the reaction to it. And please don't think of anything too bad or to anything traumatic because this isn't the time for that. Uh, I would suggest seeing a hypnotist or hypnotherapist in person to deal with any real life issues that are actually affecting you in a real uh, detrimental way at least then you'll have the physical support of having someone in a room with you okay so having said all that I'd like to think of this thing and if you need to think of the event in order to have the emotion then you can do that but ultimately I want you just to concentrate on the anger the feeling of the anger. Okay, so I just want you to just focus on it. And I'm just going to ask you some questions and I'm just going to follow it around for the next five minutes. So before we do that, just, you know, remember, log it down if whatever number it is, whether it's a four or whether it's a six a five, whatever number it is on your scale of anger, your anger scale. Maybe you didn't have an anger scale before this, but you do now. Yay. So I've introduced an anger scale for you. Uh, and now I'm going to introduce you something very different. And this is the opposite to what you would normally do. Because the natural thing to do when it comes to things like anger is, there's two things, either to dwell in it, you know, like a big hippopotamus and soaking and basking in it and feeling sorry for yourself and all that stuff. That's natural. I do it. Everyone does it at times. The opposite to it would be to completely try and move yourself away from it. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. I want to forget all about it. And that's the opposite. Neither of those have dealt with the situation or have dealt with the feeling so what we're going to do now it won't deal with the situation because that might require a whole new thing to do I mean I don't know what the situation is so that that's a completely separate thing but what this can do is change your reaction your response turn the reaction into a response and then change that response okay which is a helpful thing, I hope. So, 
what we're going to do now is focus on that feeling, the feeling of anger. I just want you to just focus on it. Where is it? Where do you feel it in your body? Where do you feel it? Just focus on it, really, really focus on it. Properly focus to the attention, like nothing else. You're hearing my voice, but I'm just guiding you to focus on the thing. That horrible feeling. Just notice how horrible it is. That horrible feeling of anger. Okay, and just focus on it, just watch it. Watch what it does. Just focus on it. And you're not rethinking what happened, and you're not any of that stuff, you're just focusing on the feeling. Just the feeling. The thing that you the the causes pain, the actual feeling itself. And I know I'm pointing to my chest, but it could be anywhere, it could be in your head, it could be some people feel it in their hands, some people feel it in their feet, in their legs, whatever. Just where do you feel it right now? And you might have noticed that it's changed. You might have noticed that it's moved. Maybe it's moved to a different part of your body. And you don't know why. Why has it done that? Maybe it always does it. Maybe you just never noticed it before. Because you've never had this kind of guidance the way I'm doing it. What's, it ha what's happening to it now? Focusing on it. Focus, focus, focus. On this feeling. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the anger? Show me the anger. Where is it? Where's it moved to now? Notice how it's changed. And are you surprised that it's changed? The strength of it has changed. It's looser, it's less, it's more diluted. And you haven't had to do anything other than just focus on it. You're doing the one thing that you didn't want to do. And it's natural not to want to do this. But this is the one thing that you need to do. Because it's the one thing that reduces it. Just by focusing on it. And just continue to focus. Notice what it does. Notice what it can't do. You know what it can't do? It can't do anything. It can't hurt you. It can't do anything. It's just a feeling. The same way farting is just a feeling of air moving out of your anus. It's just a feeling. Although farts are funnier because they make a lovely sound. Just concentrate on that feeling. Where's it moved to now? The end of your toes? Maybe not. Where's it moved to now? And how does it feel now? How does it feel different now? It's changed, isn't it? Because that's what they do. The more you focus on a feeling, the more it changes. Because feelings do not stay the same. They can't stay the same. It's impossible. Because we're always constantly changing. Always. We forget to give ourselves credit for our abilities to change naturally. And when you focus on something like this, you can actually observe the change. And where's it moved to now? What part of your body do you feel it now? And now I'm going to ask you to, to do one thing. And if you can do this, then you can keep it. You can keep the anger. If you can't do this, then I would suggest you just let it go. You're going to have to just let the, go, let the anger go. Okay? If you can do this one thing, you can keep the anger. Show it to me. Show me the anger. Pass it through. Pass it. Show me. Physically show me the anger. Show it to me. What does it look like? What you can't. Let it go.